Hey there, little Charlotte. How you doing, sweetie pie? So we're going to do a little balance for your immune system and to make you feel a bit better. So hopefully that's okay with your energy. So let's get into it. I am now 100% Charlotte. I am now 100% Charlotte. Okay, so let's see where we need to start. Do we need to start with adrenal survival, deep survival, hidden deep survival? So there's a hidden deep survival pattern in there. Do we need to go celestial circuit? Do we need to go inflammation? So we need to go inflammation. Is that part of the deep hidden survival pattern? So we need to do it first. We need to do it first. So we're going to go into some of the little inflammatory pathways from NOT, so the spleen 21s, kidney 27s, the energy mismatch. So firstly we'll just pick up the energy, spleen 21s and kidney 27s. So overall the little immune system's going, I don't know what to do. Okay brain, okay heart. Only allow us to work on anything for the highest, for the highest honour and highest benefit of Charlotte. Do we need to do anything else with the immune system before we head on? We do. So in relation to the heat, the itches, the tonsils, the dentist, the ENT specialist, grinding of the teeth, the snoring, the allergies, the allergies. Okay. So in relation to the night's sleep, the dairy, the salicylates, salicylates. Okay. So any and all issues associated with salicylates. Releasing any and all trauma associated with salicylates. In any and all trauma associated with salicylates. Releasing any and all trauma associated with salicylates. Asking the body for healing and guidance. Asking the body for healing and guidance. Okay, body, okay, heart. So once again, any more with the inflammatory and immune pathways, yes. So the heat, the bed, the itches, the tonsils, the dentists, ENT specialist, grinding teeth, snoring, allergies, night sleep, dairy. Okay, so this time dairy, dairy and dairy products, dairy and dairy products, releasing any and all trauma around dairy and dairy products any and all allergies around dairy and dairy products. Releasing any and all trauma around dairy and dairy products. Releasing any and all need for allergies around dairy and dairy products. Relation to dairy and dairy products. Now because dairy has shown up, let's check in relation to, is it the lectins, is it the casein, is it the lactose, is it the uh, homogenization, pasteurization, is it the same with organic, Okay, so in relation to dairy and dairy products, just drilling down through there. Okay, so what's the first priority? Lectins. Okay, 
Okay, so in relation to any and all issues around lectins. So the thing with lectins uh, that I don't know whether we've chatted about before is that lectins were genetically modified in lots of um, grains, nuts, pulses back in the 80s so that there were anywhere between 10 and 100 times the amount of lectins in some foods because lectins were a natural pesticide. So scientists thought if we increase the lectins, then we will be able to use less pesticides. And of course that isn't what happened. So now we're using three to six times the amount of pesticides that we were using in the 80s. And what these lectins do is actually destroy the villi in the intestines. So when we're destroying those little villi in the intestines, then we're not releasing as many enzymes, we're not releasing as many hormones, we're not releasing as much uh, natural immunity from our gut. And 90% of immunity is in the gut. Okay, and in all issues associated with lectins. And what the lectins can then do, because the villi tend to decrease in size, then we have more and more toxins building up on the gut lining. So then we can end up having that thickened layer of biofilm. So let's just ask the body in relation to biofilm and in relation to mucoid plaque. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So it is uh, creating a bit of an immune issue. So in relation to biofilm and mucoid plaque, so firstly, let's just get the little body recognizing biofilm and mucoid plaque. And inside that biofilm and mucoid plaque can be any toxic residue from undigested proteins, from uh, pollutions, from uh, vaccine toxins, from pesticides, from air pollution from the water supply with fluoride and chlorine so basically anything the body's having a hard time dealing with the mucus can actually be being created in order to in order to sop up those toxins okay. so this is just getting the body to recognize the biofilm and mucoid plaque that's holding some some particular some uh, toxins in the body okay so what's the next little priority for this body So now I'm just going to ask around organic dairy, just out of curiosity. So in relation to organic dairy. Okay. In relation, that's actually showing up okay. Let's check in relation to the homogenization past process. Yeah, right. Okay. So that's sort of messing with the ability to digest the dairy. Yeah, so the reason that lectins are in dairy is because if we have grain-fed dairy that, uh, you know, it's creating that milk, then the uh, dairy will actually have lots of lectins in it. a homogenization process okay. okay so the itches is showing up next so let me check in relation to histamine in relation to MCAS in relation to diamine oxidase in relation to the 
T helper two cells, T helper ones, T helper threes and seventeen. So we'll just sort of go through a couple of things in relation to the itch. So in relation to histamine and histamine uh, residue, histamine and histamine residue. Ah, okay, so there's an energy mismatch. So at the moment, the immune system isn't even recognizing histamine as being a bad thing, which of course it's not. It's a neurotransmitter that's there for healing, but it can build up in the gut, the brain, the uterus, and the spine. And I don't know where you are at the moment, but the 5G towers releasing uh, EMFs, uh, basically EMFs build up in the gut, the brain, the testicles, and the spine. So we tend to have all this EMF and then we've got histamines and they can actually attract each other for a double whammy inflammatory uh, fun time. Okay, so in relation to histamine and histamine residue. Histamine and histamine residue. Getting the body to recognize histamine and histamine residue. So the T helper 2 cells are showing up next. So in relation to any and all T helper 2 cells. Any and all T helper 2 cells. Yeah. And once again, the immune system isn't recognising there's a problem there. But when we've got those allergies, we've got too many T helper 2 cells and not enough T helper 1 cells as a general rule. And with her symptoms, that's what's sort of going on. By the time we get older, the immune system loses its way and then we can have both. You know, too many T-helper 1s and too many T-helper 2s and then our poor little immune system uh, gets totally over overloaded. So in relation to T-helper 2 cells, recognition of T-helper 2 cells, balancing of T-helper 2 cells. In relation to any and all balance of T-helper 2 cells. In relation to balancing and recognition of T-helper 2 cells. to recognition and balancing of T helper 2 cells. 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 DAO, histamines, MCAS, T helper 2s, T helper 1s, balance. Okay, so the one that's showing up next is the balance between T helper 3 and T helper 17. So when these are out of kilter, our body just gets into a really inflammatory process in the gut. So the poor little immune system takes a back seat because it's releasing heaps of inflammatory cytokines and it basically is creating like a little inflammatory pathway in there. In relation to balancing optimally T helper 3 and T helper 17s. In relation to balancing T helper 3s and T helper 17s. In relation to balancing T helper 3s and T helper 17s. In relation to balancing T helper 3s and T helper 17s. In relation to balancing T helper 3s and T helper 17s. In relation to balancing T helper 3s and T helper 17s. In relation to balancing T helper threes and T helper seventeens. Okay. And let's just ask around the itch. I saw the word itch and I started scratching. Okay, little Charlotte. So let's just ask around any and all issues associated with the itching. Any and all issues associated with the itching. So we'll pick up the immune system and then we'll start going into the into the survival stuff. Any and all issues associated with the itching. 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 
doing. Is there anything else we need to have in the circuit at this point? Yeah, that's enough for the little body. Okay, so adrenal survival deep survival right so now all the survival and the adrenals are showing up so with all of that data online all of a sudden more stuff is showing up than we had initially do we need to start with the do we need to start with the celestial circuit so just get straight into the adrenals and survival stuff okay and come back for part two.